All right, here's an interesting mid-year Corvette to check out. Old 1966 Chevrolet Corvette Roadster. Now, as you can see, the front end of this car, this is an Eckler front end. Uh, kind of an interesting history, too. There's quite a few Polaroids that go along with this car that have been with it. And you can check out some of the Polaroids. This car was redone in the Rockford Illinois area um, which is the same area where Eckler started out doing his fiberglass fabrication and uh, this is believed to definitely be one of the Eckler front ends and it could have been one of the early ones due to this car being in that area when it was redone now from the other cars in the pictures you can tell that it had to be somewhere in the mid 80s when this car was uh, repainted and that you can see it in the body shop and uh, everything being gone through. That's when it was painted black. Uh, originally an ermine white car with a red interior known as black with a red interior. It has also had a 350 small block installed in it along the line. Uh, we can tell that from the uh, casting numbers on it and it also has a Muncie four-speed in it. Uh, nice driver quality car uh, paint on it does show its age a little bit, but as you can see, it also has a very nice luster to it. Uh, good reflection, shine. Uh, very cool looking car, especially when you get into the uh, the whole Eckler story and the Eckler Corvettes. If you want to check out the still pictures, uh, check those out. Look down below this video in the description. There's a link you can click on. that will take you to uniqueclassiccars.com. Feel free to call us to 507-386-1726. We'd be happy to answer any questions you may have, help you out with this car. Riding on American Racing, kind of the five-spoke turbo thrust style wheels. As you can see, it does have front brakes, disc up front, paint up and down the sides of it. Also, nice shape, um, not full of dings, scratches, nicks. Overall looks very nice up and down the sides of it. I'll show you some of the kind of areas where the paint does show its age a little bit. Come back to the rear. Rear disc brakes on this car also. So four-way disc all the way around. Great looking mid-year car, especially with the red and black combination. Uh, chrome on the vehicle bumpers and stuff. Nice shape. Would I say it's showroom or trailer queen quality? No, but very showable. And uh, for a mid-year Corvette, I mean, if you're looking for one that's priced nicely, you can still drive, have some fun with. Uh, don't have to be, be afraid to take it out. Here it is. Now, we do consider trades. Financing is available. And, of course, we can sure assist you with getting this car to where you're located at. Take a look up and down the driver's side. You can see very similar. To the passenger side, also in nice shape. Um, but let me show you some of the spots that I've kind of noticed uh, up along here. You just get a few little kind of stresses and maybe the clear uh, right here. You can see you got a little crazing of the paint, if I can get that to kind of show up there. A few spots like that. But again, if you take a look at it, nice luster, still very presentable. Nice for a driver quality vet, especially a mid-year one that's got the look this one does with the Eckler customization to it. Once again, check out the still pictures down below this video. Click on the link that will take you to uniqueclassiccars.com. Feel free to call us, 507-386-1726. Be happy to help you out and answer any questions that we can. You can go ahead and check out the still pictures at that website address. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the interior of this. Again, I would call it you know a nice driver quality interior. It's a nice shape. It is very presentable. Seats show some wear, but are not ripped or torn, falling apart, anything like that. Still very nice shape. Top is also a nice shape. You can check that out on our website with the rest of the still pictures 
Let's go ahead and fire this car up. Best part about it, let's hear it. So, here it runs. Got headers on it. Sounds, uh, sounds very tough. Let's put it that way. Nice sounding car. Like I said, small block 350 underneath the hood. Muncie four speed in it. Has that a little different JVC stereo put in it? I did not play around with that. To see if it was working or not. But otherwise, it appears that the dash is pretty much stock. A little different steering wheel on it. Tack does work. Fuel gauge appears to work. Battery gauge. Oil pressure. And I'm sure the temp will come up with the temperature of the coolant. Uh, it does have an aluminum radiator on it with an electric fan. And we're going to go ahead and hop out and get behind this car so you can hear it run. Door closes very nicely, fits well. Around to the back. There's a little rumble coming out of that 350. I'm going to pause this a second. We're going to pop this hood open so you can check out the engine bay and see what it looks like underneath the hood.